Welcome back to Sailing Ruby Rose. It is the 22nd of February. And this week, I just talked to the manager. This week is the last week of construction. Next week, they are just moving to cleaning the boat for launch. And then, two weeks today, in fact, two weeks yesterday, I will be sailing this boat and test sailing it up the Vietnamese coast. We are almost there. And the final touches on this boat are gonna make other manufacturers take note because they are game changers. They are quality game changers. Keep watching, it's pretty epic. So here we are, finally, the electric windows. Huge pieces of glass, all motorized, and these have just arrived. So this and these will go in. So we have the electric windows. We also have the frame there and the whole mechanism for assembly. So as per the 1260, we now have a full set of electric opening and closing windows. Moving on here, these have obviously arrived in a big crate from Australia. And so these are the windows for hulls one, two, and three, because there are six of them here. All beautifully powder coated in white to blend in. They look amazing. Okay, now we are gonna take a walk on board. Okay, shoes off. Solar is in place. Everything is rigged and ready. Everything rigged and ready. Beautiful. So, four deck complete. There's nothing else to do here. As I said to you last time, the sails are all on. They've also been tested. So what we've got, code zero, carbon fiber, jib, carbon fiber. So carbon sails on this boat. GPL light skin by Doyle sails, just for the full, full thing. Beautiful, lightweight, very, very low stretch. Performance oriented. Mm. Solar panels, in, on. And now, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick tour down below because honestly, we're just about there. This is the last week, as I keep saying, the last week of construction. I talked to the manager and he was like, yeah, they're just, they're finishing off. So everything is protected. Anything that could be scratched is protected and out of courtesy to obviously everyone that works here. I'm not gonna start pulling too much stuff off because I don't wanna risk damage anything on, the, on Randy's boat. I'm also super, super careful. But so yeah, everything, all the light switches, anything that could even be slightly damaged is now covered because they don't wanna kind of like risk something kind of like damaging the final finish. So things to notice first. Now, if you look, remember from last week, these vanity shades, the stern glass is put in here with these panels, all in place. Helm seat. Ooh, box work. Now we you taking these off and the upholstery will come through. Other things that have clearly gone in and are now finished, the footrests. Yes, I know they're not tightened and they all lock in place. So look, quick, lift, down, nice work midway i guess winch handle pockets and now you get now that everything is here and bonded in place you get a really good idea of what visibility is going to be like so the cockpit is just about complete i actually just talked to one of the guys this is all going to be finished within a week and so the next week is just cleaning so these doors these large I don't know why I just assumed that they would not be double doors. They are. So this huge, huge cabinet under here, all cleared out. And obviously the pulley system there for the davit. Headlining panels, all now in place. And today, you're actually starting to see the workers. Polish, 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 polish. These two girls in here, just polishing. Polishing underside of this area, cleaning the underside of this area before they actually move. We're kind of getting these headlining panels all stuck up. So everything is done there. 
because obviously we now have all the Velcro pads and all the Velcro pads will allow all the headlining panels to go up. So this is just about complete. I mean, listen, we've got light sockets in there, moving straight forward, power sockets there, the whole thing almost complete. One thing I do want to show you is the nav seat. The nav seat that we talked and worked and talked and worked so hard on when we were discussing the need for a forward-facing, full-access nav station with full control of the whole boat. It's there and it's beautiful. It's, it's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful piece of kit. But yeah, helm seat. Wow. A super comfortable chair. Does it actually look... <laughs> yes, it does. It does recline. A reclining helm seat. Wow. This is like super damn comfortable. Super comfortable. Okay, other things I want to show you. The compasses are now in and wired in. Obviously, compasses are put in without any sort of electric interference. So you're keeping that as far away from electrical components as possible. So you don't get deflections. Moving down. Let's see what we haven't done. We haven't been down here for a while. Let us spin down here. Let's just go forward. What do we have to show you now? Everything is covered and I'm not going to start pulling all this stuff off because there's a lot of things that could get damaged. But anything that's not firmly affixed in place, so this, the standard cabinetry, beautiful. Obviously, it's all going to be faced there. But a lot of storage. Storage here. Moving up to there, the beautiful joinery that the Woodshock team have put together with the doors now in place. So just slide that up. So we have these beautiful ash doors. As I said, we haven't been to this cabin for a while, but you can get a good idea of the size of the bed. LED light strips all in place. Bathrooms, heads, bathrooms, heads. I'm not gonna be overly retentive about that. Finished, shower screens finished. Glasswork is all in. They've obviously had a huge delivery of glasswork. So that has all been done. And as I head down here, there's just a lot of stuff being done here. So let me just take you through here. Everything finished. Glass shower stalls, everything here, like beautiful. All in place. Stainless steel covers on the hatches. This, everything in place, all finished off here. Taps, toothbrush holders, this. I mean, look at this. Would you be happy with this if this was in your luxury house? The answer to that is yes, it's a rhetorical, rhetorical statement. Let's just move forward. Interesting, now they've now got the fabrics in. So we've got, we're going with a deep gray, Miriam. Once again, your design choices are uh, Beautiful. So here we have this beautiful deep grey. So what we've got, contrast, and I'm really into this, but white, deep grey to reflect the grey on the hull. And now we've got this ash facing on this beautiful joinery. I mean, look, the trifecta, these three colours just work so well. As we look around here, just to see this cabinetry, and I'm going to slide this across. Oh, and so wide in here. And this is the whole point, because they're dagger boards. So we get this whole space, which is more valuable to you. That is a personal decision for everyone. LED lights going in. I showed you all this last week. And obviously all the Velcroing and everything up there to get all those soft panels in for the final, final fit out. Wiring all in, light switches all in. Hmm, yeah. Master cabin. This is what there is to see. It's almost finished. The angles, the joinery, the woodwork, the shower screens, the glass has gone in. These panels, these soft covered panels are now in. Hello, Danny boy. So there we have it. One week to go. Last week, last week of build. Next week, deep cleaning, week after sailing. Then you're going to get the aerial shots. The shots of me throwing up because I haven't sailed for so long and I'm, I've, I've lost my sea legs. 
and all the other good stuff that you watch Sailing Ruby Rose for, because now we're going to be putting the sailing back into Sailing Ruby Rose. Hope you enjoyed this one. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We're going sailing soon. You take care, goodbye.